Good morning, everybody. Mom and Son Train Rail fans coming to you. Um, this goes out to Nissi. Um, I heard her mention um, about using the resin on the foam board. I did a lot of research and talked to a lot of people. And if you get this industrial foam board, like you can get it at um, Home Depot or Lowe's, um, it does hold the resin and it doesn't melt it. Um, I would suggest um, prepping the area first with a coat of paint or caulking um, just so it adheres a little bit better. But this was a piece that I used to try things out before I put it on the layout. And as you can see, it does have the resin in it. I did that um, yesterday. And it did not eat um, through and melt the foam board. So, you know, it's nice and hard. It's clear. It looks good. It didn't even, I was worried about when I cut it with the foam cutter, how it had all the little ridges in it that it was going to eat away at it. And it did not. But I used um, the 50-50 of the resin and the hardener. And on this piece right here, I did not put a base down. But um, I would suggest if you're putting it on a layout, I'd put a base color down. Um, and just, you know, go around the corners just to be safe. But it did not um, melt, I guess is what people were afraid of is working with resin and foam now if you're using styrofoam or something like just that you get at Hobby Lobby or Michaels I don't know about styrofoam but this foam board it works fine with all right I hope that helps and if I'm wrong okay I completely apologize but I tested it out and it didn't do anything to my stuff so you can leave your comments about what you think. You won't hurt my feelings. Um, I just thought I'd share that because it was mentioned in Nissy's live stream last night. Okay, thanks everybody. Got a lot of work to do and look for some videos later.